Happy March 24th, Allegra here. I totally did not realize that three days ago was the first day of spring. I don't know if you realized it, but somehow it totally blew past my consciousness. But it, spring is a great time to get your garden going. Now, I used to have a huge garden with a worm bin and everything, and then, you know, had my kids, started homeschooling, blah, 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 blah. But we had already started, my daughter is older now, and we had decided that we were gonna get our garden going again. And so here's some things that we've been doing. It's so easy to get a garden going, even if you're just gonna do, you know, like lettuce and some herbs, do it. It's so fun, tons of studies about how getting your hands in the dirt and interacting with plants is so good for our brains. So these vegetables are all, you know, root, mostly root vegetables, and root vegetables are super easy to get going inside in water. You see, you just cut off this. These have all been here for about five days now, and you can already see, look at, this little carrot is sprouting, new life, so fun. And these, I, can, I can't believe it, I had no idea celery would sprout so much. You know, when I put these in here, this was at the same level as the stalks around it, but there you go. Look at that new life. And of course, we all probably have a garlic or an onion that is starting to go to seed, so dip it in the water so that it can get some extra. Ooh, it looks like I'm running out of water here. I better put some more in. And so just put them in a teeny bit of water, not so much that they'll become moldy, but just enough so that the bottoms are in water. You see there's very little water there, but just enough. And then once these get going, you can put them into a pot. I'll probably put these in a pot in a couple more days because they're doing really well. And then, oh, over here you see some dandelion greens. Since we don't use pesticides in our garden, dandelion greens are so nutritious. And actually, dandelions are completely edible from root to tip. I've done videos about this before if you look at my YouTube channel. Root to tip, the root is actually a really good blood cleanser if you turn it into a tea. So I save them, dry them, and then keep them for tea. It's very bitter though, so mix it with something like cinnamon or licorice root or something that will give you, that will sweeten it up because it is very bitter. Unless you don't mind bitter, and then no problem. But you know, dandelion greens, you can eat them fresh like this, just like any green, put them in your salad. Or just like any green, you can also saute them, put them in eggs. I like to eat them that way because then you just don't even notice. And some dandelion, the younger the dandelion is, the less bitter it is. So these should not be bitter actually, but when they do get bigger, they'll get bitter and that's when you really wanna cook them because they're not so fun to eat bitter. And then over here, I have a master gardener friend, shout out to Mud Baron. Doesn't he have the greatest name for a gardener? <laughs> Mud Baron had 50,000 seedlings and he needed help distributing them. And so I was one of the people who picked up some seedlings and distributed them to people who were aware that Mud was doing this and also to friends and neighbors and friends and friends and stuff. And the seedlings were super tiny. And so we replanted them into, let's start with, oh, they're kind of wet, so they're hard to handle. We replanted them into this egg carton. And another master gardener friend of mine recommended to plant them directly into eggshells because the calcium in the eggshells is really good for the plants. So then when I replant them, I'll just, you know, I'll crush the eggshell so that it gets into the soil and it will help to feed the plants. So we have some bell peppers over here. We have, these will be beef stick tomatoes. We also have some greens. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's cilantro, cilantro. And we have some other greens and some Tabasco peppers. I'm not sure which one of the Tabasco peppers. I think it's this one. Well, I guess I'll find out when they grow. And another thing I've been doing is putting aside avocado skins also to use as biodegradable planters because again, it's just great nutrients for the soil. You know, people don't realize that soil is more than dirt. 
Soil is made up of really three things. It's made up of dirt, which is you know often clay. It's made up of small bits of minerals, which are like rocks and that sort of thing, which do two things. Minerals, you can see, see the shiny part here? Minerals are micronutrients for the plants. You know, the plants suck it up and then we eat it and we get those micronutrients. And then minerals can also serve to help just make soil drain better. So minerals like sand, right? It just helps your soil to drain better. So you need minerals, you need dirt, and you also need living material, which AKA compost. So if you take your, you know, any vegetable waste, like for instance, the papery skins of garlic and throw it into your garden, it will provide compost for your plants as it decomposes nutrients for your plants. And it'll also attract worms, not the avocado skins, but some of the other edibles. It'll attract worms, which are also really good for your soil because they essentially poop into your soil, giving their own nutrients, and they also aerate the soil by churning it up. So get a garden going, it's so much fun. If you have kids, they'll really love it, but it's good for people of all ages and so easy to start for, you know, no, essentially no extra cost. And, you know, buy some packs of seeds or go in with some friends and share seeds because a lot of seeds come with, you know, 50 seeds to a pack and you don't necessarily need 50 plants of the same kind, but it's super inexpensive way to, you know, grow your own food and feel more attached to the earth. Thanks. Be a spark in the world.